It's Femelanio here and in this video I will be showing you how to buy and sell cryptocurrencies using Bybit P2P. Now I'm going to show you how to deposit your money directly from your bank account to your Bybit account and how you can use it to buy any crypto of your choice and also I'll be showing you how you can sell your cryptocurrencies, any cryptocurrency and how you can convert it to USDT and sell it through P2P on Bybit and then withdraw your money to your bank account directly. I'll be showing you all of these things in this video and most importantly I'll be showing you how you can avoid voice scammers on the Bybit P2P page. Because whether you like it or not, there are so many false merchants and scammers on the Bybit P2P page, but it's not just Bybit alone. If you go on other crypto exchanges, their P2P page, you'll see different scammers and different people that are lying about being merchants on the page right there. But there are a lot on Bybit because Bybit is more popular. But in this video, I'll be showing you how you can avoid trading or transacting with scammers on the Bybit P2P page. So if you're ready for this video and you want to learn something from this video, please like this video and please kindly subscribe to your YouTube channel. We are trying to reach 200,000 subscribers very soon. And don't forget to share this video with someone that is using Bybit P2P so that I don't fall for scammers. Now let's go straight to the point. Now the first thing you want to do is to go to the P2P page on the Bybit app. Now as you can see on the screen, I'm on the home page of the Bybit app and to go to the P2P page, you come here to where you have deposit, where the arrow is pointing to, you click on it. And then right here at the bottom of the screen, you see three different options. You see P2P trading, buy with engine and deposit crypto. So you go right here and click on P2P trading. And then right here is the P2P trading page on the Bybit app. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, what exactly is this P2P all about? What is P2P trading? Now, P2P trading means peer-to-peer -peer trading and is a form of trading that enables users to directly buy and sell cryptocurrencies with each other without any third party. Now, this kind of trading allows you to use your fiat currency or your local currency to buy cryptocurrencies directly and it also allows you to sell your cryptocurrencies and get your local currency or your fiat currency to your bank account directly and it is simple and easy and I'll be showing you right now in this video. Now, the next thing I want to show you right now is how to buy cryptocurrencies on the buy P2P page. Now as you can see right here we are on the Bybit P2P page and the first thing you want to do is to click on buy right here since we are buying first. So you click on buy. If it's that you want to sell, that's when you select the sell. But since we are starting with buy, I'll click on buy right there. Now the next thing you want to do is to make sure that where this arrow is pointing to, where you have this NGN, make sure that it is in your local currency. Now I'm in Nigeria and I'm from Nigeria and that is why this is showing NGN because that is Nigerian Naira. So that's my local currency. So if you are from another country, make sure that this NGN is in your local currency and to change that just click on this NGN just click on it and right here is where you see the different local currencies that you can select on the app so you can find almost any local currency right here so if you are from another country make sure you select your own local currency right here and in case you are from Nigeria and your own is not showing NGN just scroll down right here you see where you have NGN where they are pointing to just click on it now, once you've done that, the next thing is to select the coin or the cryptocurrency you want to buy. Now, to do that, you come here to where you have this USDT. So, you have USDT right here. Just click on it. And then to show you the different cryptocurrencies that you can buy on the P2P trading page on Bybit. So, you see, you can buy USDT, you can buy USDC, you can buy BTC, and you can buy ETH. These are the different cryptocurrencies that you can buy on the P2P trading page. So, let's say, for example, I want to buy USDT. I'll just click on USDT right there. Now, you might want to ask me that what about if I want to buy other cryptocurrencies like XRP, Solana and so on. Now for those ones, you cannot buy them directly on the Bybit P2P page. You can only buy one of these four cryptocurrencies and then you cannot convert any of these four cryptocurrencies that you have bought from P2P to the cryptocurrency you want to buy. I hope you get it. So for this example now, I can buy USDT and then I can now go and use that USDT to buy uh, maybe any other cryptocurrency of my choice. I hope you understand. So it's as simple as that. So again, I'll just select USDT right here. Now the next thing is to enter the amount of USDT you want to buy in your local currency. Now come right here to where you have this amount. Let me click on amount right there. And then I will enter the amount of USDT I want to buy in my local currency. Take note of that. So let's say for example, I want to buy USDT worth of, um, let's say 50,000 Naira. I'll just put in 50,000 Naira right there. And once you put it, just click on confirm. Now what this will do for you is to help you reduce the number of traders it will bring to you. So it will be showing you traders that are trading within this range. So traders that they are willing to sell uh, USDT within the range of 50,000 Naira, those are the kind of 
of traders you'll be able to see and trade with i hope you get it so that you don't have to be scrolling up and down to be looking for a trader that is trading around fifty thousand naira. so i hope you understand so once you enter the amount of usdt you want to buy in your local currency again you click on confirm now once you've done that the next thing is to pick your payment method now to pick your payment method come here to you have all payment methods right here click on it now you see that you have different payment methods right here so let's for example you want to pay this person through bank transfer just come here to your bank transfer right here so this means that you want to transfer money from your own bank account and pay that person that's the meaning but in case you want to trade with someone that is using a specific bank maybe you want to trade with someone that is using op you select op right here if you want to trade with someone that is using palm P, you come here to where you have palm P right here and you see other banks right here but for me i just want to pick bank transfer alone so once you pick bank transfer it means you can trade with someone that is using any bank so once you've seen that just come here to where you have confirm and click on it now for a lot of people after they've done this three thing they just go ahead and just pick a trader and trade with the person no that's not the best thing to do now the next thing i'm about to show you is what you need to do if you want to avoid trading with scammers on the bybit p2p page and to do that you come here to where you have this filter see where they are responding to you click on it now once you click on it you see where you have these ad types and under it you see where it says show only verified advertisers the second one says show only block advertisers and the third one says show only eligible advertisers and the fourth one says add with node verification required now for me i always select this first one and this third one now this first one means that you only want to trade with verified advertisers so this means that people that are verified by bybit and these people are not scammers these are people that will not scam you so make sure that you are trading with only verified advertisers that is if you don't want to trade with scammers you don't want to risk trading with scammers and then the second one that says show only eligible ads so it will only show you the people you are eligible to trade with so these are the two things i always select before i go ahead and trade with anybody on the bybit p2p page now once you've done that you come here to where you have sort by so you have three options you have price from lowest to highest you have completed order number and then you have completion rate for me i always prefer price lowest to highest so for me it means that the first person i'll be seeing on the list will be the person with the lowest price and it's always good to trade with someone with the lowest price so that you can get a good price i hope you understand but always make sure you check the completion rate and the number of orders i'll be showing you everything right now so once you've done that you can come here and click on confirm and after you've done that, it will now show you the different traders that you are eligible to trade with. It means that all of these traders you are seeing right here, these are traders that are verified by Bybit. And these are traders that are willing to sell you USDT within the range of 50,000 Naira. And also, these are traders that you can pay with bank transfer. So you see that it has made everything easy for you. You don't have to be scrolling through so many traders to be looking for the perfect person to trade with. So this person right here, the third person on this list, the person's username is Swift Cash. And the person is selling one USDT for 1,572 Naira. And the person has 96 USDT for sale. And the person is willing to sell between the range of 20,000 Naira to 152,000 Naira. And then if you come to the right side, this person has had 3,860 orders in the last 30 days. And this person has had 99% completion rate in the last 30 days. So I'm going to go ahead and trade with this person and we'll see whether it will go through. So I'll just click on buy right here. Now, once you get to this page, the first thing you want to do is to scroll up and come here to where you have this advertiser terms. Make sure you read all of the terms of the person you are trading with because there are some people that they have some terms that are not good looking, that are not even nice. So make sure that you read the terms right there. So once you've read all of those things, then you can now go on with the trade. So you just need to come here to where you have this with fiat and where you have with crypto. So if you pick with fiat, it means that you want to enter in Naira. You want to enter the value of whatever you want to buy in Naira. So if I come here and enter, let's say 50,000 Naira, it's going to show me the amount of USDT I will receive. So you see where it says, I will receive 31.799 USDT. That's the amount of USDT I will be get for 50,000 Naira. But if I come here to where it says with crypto, it means I want to enter the amount of USDT I want to buy. So let's say for example, I want to buy 35 USDT. I'll just enter 35 right there. And you can see where it says I will pay 55,033 Naira 3 Kobo. So you can see the amount you'll be paying right there. So for me, I always prefer to enter it with fiat so that I know that I'm paying a round figure. So I'll just come here to where it says with fiat and I will enter 50,000 Naira. So again, I'm getting 31.799 USDT. So once you're okay with that, just come here to where it says buy. I'll click on it. 
And once you get to this page, you'll see where it says complete your payment within, and then at the other side, you see a countdown. So you see you have less than 15 minutes to make your payment. So you must make your payment within 15 minutes. That's the minute. And then if you want to go ahead and make the payment, just come to the bottom side of the screen and click on pay now. And then right here on the screen, it will show you the account details of the trader. So what I just need to do is to copy the account details and then go to my bank app and then transfer 50,000 Naira to the person. A few moments later. So I've just transferred the 50,000 Naira to the person. So in case you want to chat to the person that you've made payment, just come here to where you have this icon, click on it, and then you'll be able to chat to the person right here on the screen. So I can just come right here to this page and type paid, and then I'll just send it to the person. And you can also share your payment receipt to the person. So you can just take a screenshot of the payment and share it right here. So once you've done that, let me go back, and then I'll come to the bottom side and click on payment completed. And then right here, it will tell you to tick these two boxes. So you must tick these two boxes. Make sure that you've made your payment before you come here and click on payment completed. Very important. And then I'll click on confirm. And then you can see right here, the coins will be released in nine minutes, 50 something seconds. So we are just waiting for the seller to release the crypto to us. So just like you've seen on my screen, in less than 10 seconds, this person has released my crypto for me and I have my 31.788 USDT in my wallet. It's as simple as that. So that's a simple way to buy crypto through the Bybit P2P page. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to sell crypto, now let's assume that that USDT I just bought, let's say I want to use it to buy another crypto of my choice. How do I do that? Now, the first thing you want to do is to go back to the home page. I'll click on this back icon. And then right here on the home page, I'll come here and click on assets. So I'll click on assets right there at the bottom of the screen. And then to bring me to my asset page. Don't forget that the USDT I just bought from the P2P trading page is transferred to my funding account. It's in your funding account this funding account right here. So in case you want to use that money to buy another cryptocurrency or maybe you want to use it to trade, you must first transfer that USDT from your funding account to your unified trading account. So to do that, I'll just come here and click on transfer. And then you can see it says from funding account to unified trading account. So once you've seen that, make sure you leave it like that. And then you come here to where you have coin. Make sure you select the coin you want to transfer. So in this case, it is USDT I bought. I'll leave it at USDT. If it's not USDT you bought, just change it to whatever coin you bought through the P2P trading page. And then you come here to where it says amount and enter the amount of USDT you want to transfer. So I bought 31 USDT, so let me just put in 31 right there. So I want to transfer 31 USDT. I'll just enter it and click on confirm. And just like that, it has been transferred to my unified trading account. Now, if I want to go ahead and use that 31 USDT to buy, let's say Dogecoin, I can go ahead and do that. What I just need to do is to just come here to where it says trade at the bottom side of the screen. And then there are two ways you can do that. You can use the convert option or the spot option. So for me, I always prefer to use the spot option. So I'll just come here to where it says spot right here. I'll just click on spot. And then just come here to where it says this FIL USDT. Just click on it. And then you search for the coin you want to buy. So in this case, I want to buy Doge. So I'll just click on Doge right there. And make sure that it is Doge slash USDT because USDT is what you want to use to buy the Doge coin. I hope you understand. So I'll just click on this first option that says Doge slash USDT. And then I'll just come here to where it says buy. So you see where it says buy right here. I'll just click on buy. And then I'll come here to where it says limits and I'll click on market. So market means that I want to buy it immediately. I want to use my USDT to buy Dogecoin immediately. That's the meaning. And then you enter the amount of USDT you want to use. So let's say I want to use $31. That's the amount I transferred. I'll just put it right there. And then I'll just go ahead and click on buy. So just like that, I've bought Dogecoin. So if you want to check it, just go to your asset page. And then come here to where you have unified trading account, click on it. And then let me open it and show you. So you can see I have Dogecoin in my wallet, which is about 165.834 Dogecoins. And that is approximately 30.90 USDT. So you can see that you have your Dogecoin in your wallet. So that's a simple way to buy USDT or any coin through the P2P trading page. And once you buy the USDT, you can now use it to buy any coin of your choice, just like I've shown you right now. Now, the next thing is, how do you now sell your cryptocurrency and then get your money in your bank account directly from Bybit? Now, before I show you how to do that, please like this video if you have been learning something and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Now, to sell your crypto and get your money to your bank account is just the reverse case of what I've just done to buy crypto. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the spot trading page and sell your Dogecoin. So let's for example, is Dogecoin I want to sell, I want to sell it. So what I just have to do is sell it and convert it to USDT. And once I get it in USDT, I will now go ahead to P2P trading page and sell it and get my money to my bank account. So let me show you. So I'll just go back. I'll go to my trade page right here. And then I'll make sure that I'm on spot trading page. 
And then I'll come here to where it says Doge slash USDT. You must make sure that it is Doge slash USDT that is there or any coin you want to sell. But in this case, it is Doge. And then you come here and select sell. So this time we are selling. That's why I'm selecting sell. And then make sure that this is on market. Make sure that it is on market. And then the next thing is to select the percentage of Dogecoin you want to sell. So if I want to sell everything, I'll move this slider to 100%. It means that maybe it's half of it I want to sell, I'll move it to 50%. So whatever percentage you want to sell, you move it to. So I'll move it back to 100%. And then I'll click on sell. So just like that, I'll sold the Dogecoin and then I have my USDT in my Unified Trading account. Just in case you want to confirm it, go again to your asset page. Click on Unified Trading Account. And if I open it right here, you see that I don't have any Dogecoin again. The Dogecoin I have is just approximately 0.15 USDT, which is nothing. So my Dogecoin has been sold and converted to USDT. Now, before you go ahead and go to the P2P trading page to sell the USDT, you must transfer the USDT from your Unified Trading Account to your funding account. Very important. A lot of people don't know this and they do the mistake. And once they get to the P2P trading page, they will be saying, oh, they don't have any coin in their wallet. It's showing zero. You must make sure that you first transfer it from your Unified Trading Account to your funding account. So to do that, click on transfer right here. And you can see it is showing from funding account to Unified Trading Account. But that is not what you want to do. What you want to do is from Unified Unified Trading Account to Funding Account. So to switch it, just click on this switch icon right here. So I'll click on it and then you see that to switch from Unified Trading Account to Funding Account. And make sure that this one is on USDT. The coin you want to transfer is on USDT. And then I'll just come here again to where it says Amount and I'll enter the amount of USDT I want to transfer, which is 31 USDT. And once you've done that, you click on Confirm at the bottom side of the screen. So once you've done that, the next thing is now to go to the P2P trading page. So to go to the P2P trading page, click on the home page right here. And then you come here to where it says deposit. So I'll click on it. And then I'll click on where it says P2P trading. Now, once you get to this page, the next thing you want to do is to click on sell right here. And once you enter sell, before you go ahead and pick a trader to trade with, make sure you enter your bank details. You need to enter your bank details. Very, very important. Because that's where the person will transfer your money to. So to set it up, come here to where it says profile at the bottom side of the screen. And then you see where it says payment method. So it's this payment method right here. So I'll click on payment method. And then you can see on the screen, I have two different bank accounts right here that I've added. So you can add more bank accounts if you want to. So you can always pick whichever one you want to get your money into for every trade. So let's say for example, you want to add a new bank account. Maybe you've not added anyone. Just click on add a payment method. And on the screen right here, you select your payment method. So for me, it is bank transfer. The next thing is to enter your name. Make sure that the name you're entering right here is the same name you used in registering your account on Bybit. Very important. And then you go ahead and enter your bank account number and then you enter your bank branch and you enter your bank name. Now the bank branch is not important, but make sure that your bank name and your bank account are correct. Please make sure that they are correct, the bank name and the bank account. So once you enter all of those things, just come to the bottom side of the screen and click on confirm. And the next thing is to select the coin you want to sell. So I'll come here to where it says USDT. So in this case, I'm selling USDT. So I'll select USDT right there. And then you enter the amount you want to sell. So I'll come here to where it says amount. So for the amount, let's say this time I want to sell, let's assume 60,000 Naira. Let's just assume that. I'll just put in 60,000 Naira right there. And then I'll just click on confirm. And then for the payment method, click on payment method right there. And then you click on bank transfer. Since that's the payment method you entered when setting up your bank account. So I'll just click on bank transfer and click on confirm. And then again, don't forget, make sure you come here to where it says filter. It's very, very important. Click on filter. And then you take this first box right here and the third one. The first one is to trade with only verified advertisers. And the third one is to trade with only eligible ads. I hope you understand. So once you've entered that, click on confirm. And then you can now go ahead and pick anybody you want to trade with. Now for this first person on the list, this person is selling one USDT for 1,569 Naira. And you can see the number of orders this person has had. This person has had 5,116 orders in the last 30 days. And this person has 98% completion rate. So if you want to trade with this person, just click on sell. And then you come here and enter the amount of crypto you want to sell or you enter it in fiat. So let's for example, I want to enter it in fiat. I'll just enter 60,000 Naira right there. So once you enter 60,000 Naira right there, pick your payment method. Now if you enter just one bank account, you don't need to pick anything for this payment method. It will automatically enter your bank account details. But if you have more than one account details, please select the one you want to use to receive your money. Click on sell right here. And then the next thing is to be waiting for the person to send your money to you. A few moments later. So as you can see on the screen, this person has made payment. So once I've confirmed the payment, I'll just come right here and click on release now. And then you can now go ahead to do your verification and release the payment. 
So just like that, I've been able to sell my crypto and get my money into my bank account easily. So that's just a simple way to buy and sell cryptocurrencies through P2P on the Bybit page. If you learned something from this video, please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and please share this video with someone that is using Bybit P2P so that they don't fall for scammers and so that they can learn the step-by-step -step guide on how to do this carefully. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.